The DJI Avada and DJI Mavic 3 are two superb drones and produce ace video content, but which one is for you? If you are confused in selecting which one of these amazing drones will suit your needs and creativity, we will help you out comparing different feature, pros and cons of these drones. In today's video, we will be comparing DJI Mavic 3 and DJI Avada. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never missed any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 1. Size, Weight, and Design Looking at them, you can tell these drones were not made for the same applications. The DJI Mavic 3 is large, spanning up to 283mm in width, 357mm in length, and 107 in height when the arms are unfolded. It also weighs 0.9 kilograms, making it a bulky and heavy drone, heavier than most Mavic drones, that will not be very easy to move around. The design also makes it unsuitable for flying in very tight spaces and also makes it a hazard in case it crashes. The heavier it is, the more impact it will have, and the more damage it's likely to experience compared to a lighter drone. The DJI Avada, on the other hand, is small, and instead of unfolding arms, the propellers are enclosed in propeller guards. The DJI Avada is also lighter, weighing 410 grams. The propeller guards and the smaller size allow this drone to fly in tighter spaces and to fly closer to people compared to the Mavic 3. The only advantage a heavier drone like the Mavic 3 would have over the Avada is its ability to withstand stronger winds. Number 2. Speed Differences When it comes to speed, the Avada is in its own league. For instance, where in sport mode, the Mavic 3 is capable of reaching an acceptably nippy top speed of 42 miles per hour. The Avada in manual mode can hit an incredible 60 miles per hour. This is still a lot slower than some racing drones, but to most pilots, 60 miles per hour is plenty fast enough. Number 3. Flight Characteristics Both of these drones fly in much the same way. That is to say they both tilt forward when accelerating and both bank into turns, although the Avada seems to bank a little more. However, because the camera on the Mavic 3 has a mechanical 3-axis stabilizing gimbal, the horizon on the Mavic 3 remains straight at all times. By contrast, the Avada's camera is fixed so that when the drone banks, the image does too. Yes, you can set the Mavic 3 to lock its gimbal, so the image also banks but you won't get quite the same visual effect for certain scenes like diving down a waterfall. The DJI Mavic 3 isn't really designed for flying around at breakneck speed, while the Avada most certainly is. Indeed, one of the biggest differences between the drones is the way they respond to input by the pilot. The Mavic 3 is much slower to turn while the Avada can turn on a sixpence. This makes the Avada much more suited to creating eye-waveringly fast video content, replete with lightning quick turns and flips. Number 4. Control Systems The Mavic 3 ships with a standard hand controller, while the Avada comes with DJI's amazing motion controller. To use it, simply tilt your hand forward, backwards, left and right, and the drone will follow suit. However, you can't engage manual mode using the motion controller, so if you really want to open up full manual functionality, you will need to invest in the DJI FPV remote controller. This will provide full control in all directions, so you can control the Avada to turn instantly and dive nose down. Number 5. Cameras The Avada's camera is equipped with a 1 by 1.7 inches CMO sensor. Since the Avada's gimbal has only one axis, images are steadied using Horizon's steady electronic image stabilization. The camera's field of view is a super wide 155 degree. By contrast, the Mavic 3 is fitted with a stunning Hasselblad camera with a Micro Four Thirds sensor capable of shooting in 5.1K at up to 50 frames per second, 4K at up to 120 FPS, and 1080 bit up to 200 FPS. Its 24mm lens has an aperture range of f2.8 to f11, and it shoots 20 megapixel stills in both JPEG and RAW. The Mavic 3 is also available as a C model, which comes with DJI's superb RC Pro controller with bright display, a built-in 1TB SSD, and support for Apple Pores 422HQ, Apple Pores 422, and Apple Pores 422 LT video recording. This model is extraordinarily expensive mind and only suitable for pros who also have the computing power in their editing suites to deal with much larger file sizes. Hence, if you want to shoot aerial video of very near professional quality that can be viewed on a huge screen, opt for the Mavic 3. But if you want to create jaw-dropping video content, 
while enjoying the immersive experience that only FPV flying can provide. Go for the Avada. Number 6. Video Styles Both of these drones provide quite radically different content that is difficult to illustrate in words. As you'll see, the Avada's footage ducks and dives around at great speed, giving the viewer a brilliant sensation of what it must be like to be a dragonfly on steroids. It's a great choice of drone for shooting fast-moving vehicles and dodging around obstacles both indoors and out. By contrast, the Mavic 3's footage is slow and gentle, as if drifting across the sky at about 3 miles per hour. In musical terms, watching a Vata footage is like listening to a speed metal band at full volume, while strapped to a roller coaster, while the Mavic 3 is akin to listening to Fora's Requiem while sitting by a trickling stream in the spring sunshine. Number 7. Shooting Stills if you are likely to shoot more aerial stills than video, the Mavic 3 is undoubtedly the best option since its camera is simply much better suited to shooting stills. Also, the Mavic 3's 3-axis gimbal can be angled by the pilot on the ground to help with framing. By contrast, the Avada is simply not designed for shooting stills, so don't even think of buying one if photography is more your bag than videography. Number 8. Obstacle Sensing the Mavic 3 is much better equipped to deal with obstacles in all five directions – forward, backward, lateral, upwards, and downward. By contrast, the Avada only has a downward-facing sensor, mostly because it's so fast that no sensor would prevent a collision at such great speed. On the plus side, the downward sensor on the Avada is brilliant at keeping the drone from crashing when flown close to the ground. In fact, this drone can fly half a meter off the ground at up to 60 miles per hour in manual mode and 31 miles per hour in standard mode. Conclusion If you are looking for high-quality, smooth footage with a lot of detail and room for editing and color grading, the DJI Mavic 3 is a clear winner. If you are looking for high-speed footage and FPV experience to film indoors or film fast-moving objects, the DJI Avada is a great choice. Since these two drones are so radically different, you ultimately need to weigh up the kind of footage you think you'll want to shoot. The DJI Mavic 3 is generally easier to control and much better suited to beginners. It also shoots much sharper footage and stills. The DJI Avada, on the other hand, provides a much more immersive flying experience and the footage it's capable of shooting is much more dramatic though not as detailed as the Mavic 3. Also, the Mavic 3 is much quicker to get in the air and its prop arms fold up for easier portage. In an ideal world, any self-respecting professional or amateur aerial cinematographer would do well to have both drones in their armory. So, which will you prefer? Let us know in the comment section. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you've never missed any update from us. Thanks for watching the video.